Hi, my name is Georgina and we're here today at West Ardley Day Services to interview Karen and Louise about jobs in adult social care. Could you tell us about the Fulfilling Life service and what it means to your customers? Yes, um, we're a, a council run service and we provide a day service for people with learning disabilities. Um, we provide services that are educational, therapeutic, leisure, um, some supported employment and quite a lot of sports for the people that attend the service. What does your job involve? My job involves, um, I work job share with another manager who manages the service on a Monday and a Tuesday and part of Wednesday. I then manage Wednesday and the back end of the week. So my role involves supporting the staff to enable them to do their job properly and appropriately. What kind of opportunities are there for young people to work in adult social care? Um, there are lots of opportunities. We do get quite a lot of people coming in as students. Sometimes we get people who want to just come and volunteer to get some experience. And obviously there are um, the recruitment drives that the council run for people to be able to apply for positions. Sometimes that might be supported living, working in the community or in a fulfilling life service like this one. So what kind of skills and personal qualities do you look for in young people that you recruit? Personally, um, the, the main thing that I look for is a genuine um, belief in equality and indiv individuality for the people that we serve. You can quite often find that um, out from interviewing someone, you know, getting to know what their beliefs are and their general ideas of what's right and what's wrong. So how would a young person find out about vacancies? Quite often we have um, recruitment drives where the council will, will, will run um, central locations where they will pr do presentations to give people a flavour of what the job's about. There might be short films and video clips. Quite a lot of our customers get involved in this as well so that we can see how prospective employers interact with the customers. Um, they're then asked to go through the process of applying for the positions and obviously subject to CRB um, tests can be offered positions in any of those um, areas that I've already mentioned. Could you tell us about some good things that you've seen in an application form and maybe some not so good things? Um, yeah, quite often we get um, very lengthy applications um, from people, which again gives us a flavour as to what sort of things they've done in the past, what their general ideas and beliefs are about, what services people should be receiving who have got disabilities. Um, and you, you get an idea of the kind of person behind the application form. Um, I have had instances before where I've had application forms that have said I'm applying for this post because my benefits are going to end or I'm applying for this post um, because I've been told to by my career development officer and occasionally you will get an application form that's maybe got two or three lines written on it and it's quite evident from that that the person really doesn't have any interest in the position that they're applying for. What career paths are open to young people that work with you? Um, generally speaking, we have people that come as students, as I've previously mentioned, and people that have come as volunteers. Um, once somebody is in situ in post, we do offer a development package and ongoing training to that person. Um, obviously from that, if they're willing and want to move forward into new positions and, and to progress through the career path, then that's open to them. Thanks very much for your time. You're very welcome. Tell us what your job involves. I work with adults with profound learning difficulties. Working as part of a team, it involves personal care, um, assisting customers to feed, physio such as passive movements, posture management, rebound, hydro. What's rebound? Rebound's where you take the customer who's got physical needs on, onto a trampoline. Two people do this. Um, and it, it's like relaxation for them, it relaxes all the muscles. How did you get your job? I got my job through an open day at the Carriage Works. Um, it was advertised in the Yorkshire Evening Post. They interviewed you either on the day or two or three days after. And then you have to do a CRB. And if you're successful with the CRB, then they post it out to you whether you've got the job or not. What kind of qualifications and skills do you need? And then VQ level two, you just need like skills in um, care work and people skills. So what are the good things about your job? 
helping customers with the day-to-day -day things and uh, such as physio, passive movements, and learning new skills. Is there anything that's not so good? No, I enjoy everything about my job. What opportunities do you see for moving on in your career? I'd like to think that I were working with um, young children with learning disabilities. Um, but at the moment I'm happy where I am working with adults. Thanks very much for talking to us today. You're welcome.